Hi there, in this video, Factory IO software will be used to design a simple industrial process, and then, the control IO interface will be explained and used to control the sorting boxes project, which was explained during previous courses. This video will be useful for those who want to use Factory IO software to simulate an industrial process, and don't have any real PLC and simulator. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content we have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI, and microcontroller based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to receive the latest and the greatest content I will be posting through the channel. All right. Let me run factory IO software. Well, let's create a new project, and then, insert a simple water tank system. As you know, the tank has two modes, let's select its digital mode. In this mode, the tank has only two simple valves for filling and discharging. Note that, these two valves have only two states, close and open. So they can be controlled by a simple digital signal. Now, let me design a simple control box with only one push button. Remember, to change the height of the equipment, the V key on the keyboard must be pressed. As you know, sensors and actuators can be connected to PLC inputs and outputs respectively. Here I can enable actuator and sensor tags, which will be used later, during programming with control IO interface. For now, let me change the push button tag, to start filling. Similarly, the tag of each inserted equipment can be changed. Alright, I've designed a simple water tank system with one push button. Now. I must determine how the system must be controlled. So, let's select the drive item under the file menu. As you see, here are some famous PLCs, and standard network protocols, that can help us to connect factory IO software, to controller devices like PLCs. Until now, we explained and used these items to connect factory IO software to a PLC, during our videos on the PLC Goods YouTube channel. But if you don't have any PLC, you can use this item, Control IO, to write a program to control the design system. In other words, I can consider the Control IO window as a PLC, to control my water tank system. On the left side, there are instructions that can be used to write a program. The first category, Sources, includes operands that produce a boolean signal, number, date, and so on. The second category, tags, includes all sensor and actuator tags, which have been used inside the factory I.O. software. For example, let me use the start push button light. So, based on this simple program, I can turn on the push button light from the control I.O. window. Let me sort the opened windows, to see the water tank system and the program simultaneously. Now, I can use the inserted bool instruction, to turn on the push button light. Now, let's write a new program. 
I want to write a program, that the push button can turn on the filling valve and its light. So, let's insert the push button tag, and then connect it to the filling valve tag, and also to the start push button light tag. Well, like the previous program, let me use a bool instruction to open the discharging valve. Again, let me sort opened windows, and then test the program. Based on the program, I can use the push button to open the filling valve, and also turn on its light. Now, let me open the discharging valve from the control I.O. window. Ok, let's do a more practical project. The box sorting project, which was described and used during the previous courses. If you remember, here are two sensors. The first one detects all boxes. It can be used to count all of them. The next one can only detect large boxes, which must be pushed on this conveyor by the pusher. Note that, these two sensors determine the pusher arm state. I will use this one, to detect when a box has been pushed completely. Alright, if you remember, these drivers were used to connect the sorting project to a PLC, but in this video, I'm going to use the control I.O. interface. So, I won't need any real PLC or other simulators. First, let's write a simple program to turn on and off the belt conveyor, with the start and stop push button. As you know, the SR instruction is a common instruction to write a PLC program, to turn on and off an output. I can find it under the function blocks category, and then the logical list. Well. Based on this program, the start push button can turn on the belt conveyor. Note that, the stop push button is normally close. First, I must convert it with a NOT instruction, and then, connect it to the second input of the SR block. Now, let's test the performance of the start and stop push buttons. Well, the start and stop push buttons have turned on and off the belt conveyor successfully. Let's extend my program. The next step is to use the first sensor to count boxes, and display their number on the digital display. Therefore, let me find the first sensor under the tag list, and then connect it to an up counter. Well, the next input resets the counter value, so, I connect it to the start push button, to reset its value at the beginning of each start. Now, let me use a large number for the third input, as the preset value. After this value, the first output will be enabled. But I only need the counter value. So, let me connect the second output, to my digital display. Finally, I need to write a program to turn the pusher on and off. Again, let's find and insert the SR instruction.
Note that, large boxes must be passed in front of the second sensor completely, after that, the pusher arm must be used to push large boxes. To detect this time, I need an F trick instruction, the falling edge trigger detector, after the second sensor signal. Finally, let's use the front limit switch to turn off the pusher. Because after each pushing, the pushing arm must return to its original position. Alright, I've completed my program. Now, let's run the program, and also sort opened windows, to have a better view of the program and the design system inside factory I.O. software. OK, let's start the belt conveyor. As you see, the number of all boxes can be seen on the digital display, and the pusher pushes large boxes successfully. Now, let's stop the belt conveyor, and start it again. Based on my program, the counter value will be reset by the start push button. Alright, I've explained how factory I.O. can use control I.O. interface, to control an industrial process, without any PLC or other simulators. Note that, on the left side, the memory list can be used to save different data types, and also we can use other instructions under the function block category, to write a more complex program. Here are usual PLC instructions like counters, timers, PID controller and so on. If you remember, we can add comments to PLC programs. Similarly, I can add a note to my program and add necessary comments to my program. Also, under the settings option, I can change some parameters like the cycle time. Note that, the factory I.O. help window can be used to learn more details about the control I.O. interface, available instructions, and different data types.
Okay, I hope this introduction to the control I.O. interface, can help you to simulate industrial processes and learn the various logics, which are commonly used for real PLC programs. Especially if you do not have a real PLC or simulator. Thanks for watching my content, if you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.